Hello, I'm Joe Wren. The superintendent of the Richland Bean Blossom Community School Corporation offered his letter of resignation to the school board this week, but leaders say it will be business as usual as they look toward a new school year. Assistant Superintendent Jerry Sanders says he can't speak to why Michael Wilcox resigned, but will step in to serve as interim superintendent. Wilcox's resignation comes after the school district made an error that cost taxpayers more than a $1 million surplus in property taxes. The district decided to keep the money to pay down its bonds rather than return it to taxpayers. Indiana University's Center for Rural Engagement put the finishing touches on the Sustaining Hoosier Communities Initiative in Lawrence County Wednesday. The initiative connects IU resources with surrounding communities to help problem solve. It really is a benefit uh, to communities to have that kind of expertise. Um, our resources and time are limited, so it just gives us uh, options. University officials praise Lawrence County for helping articulate future community visions. The center has already started work on their Orange County project. And Columbus leaders are celebrating the completion of the State Street Corridor project. The street and Hall Creek Bridge makeover began after state officials rerouted State Road 46, increasing traffic in the area. Mayor Jim Linup says that part of the city is often overlooked and the additional landscaping, decorative panels and support posts and crosswalks help welcome motorists into Columbus. Now here's a quick check of the forecast for tonight. A 30% chance of showers, 68 the low. More rain in the five-day forecast tomorrow, though, a slight chance of thunderstorms, 91, the high 88 on Saturday. More rain on Sunday, highs in the mid-80s. We have more news on our website. It's all at WTIUnews.org.